our Sports Management Information Systems class. Um, I'm sure you've seen the students here. It's a small group. It's a graduate program, mm -hmm. and it's here at UWE. So the students here are interested in, in pretty much uh, <laughs> everyone. Moving on, The students pretty much are interested in how information systems, IT in general, mm -hmm. and the use of technology has actually aided you uh, in the past three years as you progress in your preparation for the London Games and how it's actually helping you right now uh, as we work towards uh, the first World Cup and the rest of the World Cups through, through the 2013-2014 um, Commonwealth Games. And, but the big, the big picture is uh, Rio 2016. So um, uh, anyhow, guys, this is Jusane Philip. You know, this is your, your main guy. Hello. And these are all trainees here, all fans. So we have, uh, introduce yourself. Hi, Paula, from Sports Company. Hello. Uh, Rickson, Sports Company as well. Hi, Candice. I'm new from Bustown, South. <laughs> 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 so, just to let you know, Jusane is, uh, today's his off day. Um, did you do anything today? Did you do the rollers or anything like that? No, 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 I'm about to do that later. Okay. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, better today. Better? Remember, yeah. guys, we talked about peaks and valleys. Yeah. He's coming up to his uh, his peak right now. He's about to start his uh, taper uh, in a couple of weeks. Um, so I've asked the students to prepare a couple of questions each. Um, okay. To talk with you. Why do I have to go first? Okay. Let's start, okay. Let's start, with, let's start with me. Let's start with me. Right. Um, well, my first question is um, the. I would expect, you know, your 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 time in cycling you know, started yesterday. So that means you would have used bike saddle, probably archaic, rail, lame, and then you know these new super advanced bikes. So I wanna know really how notable is the improvement in, 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 in the technology in the equipment you would use. Is it really significant? Um yeah, well, you know, I've been riding for 11 years now, and uh, the technology that I have been, you know, introduced to at that age, well, let's say nine, uh, it was aluminum bikes, and now we're we're in carbon now. All the bikes on the market now are all made in carbon fiber. Um, I'm sponsored from a bike company, which is Felt Bicycles. They're here in California, and uh, they make their bikes out of carbon as well. Uh, the technology is 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 different. Uh, I think the only people right now ahead of the game is the the British program. Uh, they have, you know, I can't really explain it, but they have, you know, like a different technology where they create their bikes and their cranks and their whole Olympic setup. Um, but you know, different bike companies, you know, you have Fell, you have uh, Look, you have BT. They all use basically the same material. But the only people that usually use something completely different that, like, top secret is the British program. And I can't really comment on what they have. Peter, Peter can tell you guys. <laughs> 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 Let's Management, you know, because I think I like I like the whole, you know, the whole approach. I like to see how you know Peter uh, managed me when we, you know, from from the time we depart, you know, until we get there, and the whole in you know, the whole process is kind of cool. You know what I mean? Um, probably managing. I think maybe it depends on how everything goes, you know. But that's probably the only thing that I'll probably get into. Uh, coaching is is completely different. You know, you have to really be able to like know your athlete and. Uh, I don't think I could put myself on that pedestal yet, you know. Probably just management. Hi, man. Thanks a lot. Hello. 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 Hello.
um, which technology do you think favors you the most currently? What makes you, what gives you a more competitive advantage? Uh, technology wise? Um, nothing right now. <laughs> Well, um, in, in regards, Jim, let's, let's look at the SRM cranks and how... Oh, okay, 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 yeah. Um, we have this on the on the pedal, on the crank. It's, uh, it's basically like a computer, and it tells you your, your, your watt output. It tells you your speed. It tells you your heart rate. It tells you your cadence. So uh, my coach could go in, and he pulls it up on the computer, and he's able to tell me, well, basically, well... Um, this effort was good. This effort was bad. Uh, you're tired. Your your speed is not good enough. Your cadence is not good enough. And um, we're able to to basically structure our program based on the numbers that we get on a daily basis. So uh, if I have a hard week, the numbers the numbers will basically show up that you know uh, it's it's kind of down. The power output will be a bit down, and we could you know. Restructure the program and say, well, okay, we're gonna we're gonna take a little bit more rest, or we're gonna go down on the gears, just to, you know, make sure that we we're going down the right road and we're not overtraining or undertraining. So I mean, that plays a big part. Uh, just before the Olympics, I got my SRM, and it helped me a lot uh, to the bill to London. Okay. Good. Um. Well, we just did something on social media, so I'm question is. How important do you see social media in your life and Um, social <laughs> <laughs> social media. Um, it's a it's a great tool, you know, f to get out to get out your name, uh, to get out your results for your sponsors. Um, it's very it's a good good tool, you know, modern day. Uh, but I mean, it can really hurt you some ways as well, you know. What I mean, because now you have a lot of people looking in and. You can't really be yourself on social media. You know what I mean? You can't really speak your views because you have everyone. You have to please people. You know what I mean? And it's 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 kind of weird to balance, basically. Uh, but it's, 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 it's a good tool. 50-50. <laughs> good and bad. <laughs> that goes back to your question, but do you like the social media? That's the thing. Because a lot of, as you said, a lot of athletes have their own opinions and stuff like that of social media. Because you have to do it. You have to get yourself out there to get yeah. responses and stuff like that. Do you do you like it? You know, or sometimes does it get really annoying and you just wanna? Um, I think I like my favorite social media is Twitter. Uh, I like Twitter because of the the fact that where well, you could get tweets, but the the alerts don't come to your phone unless you're following the person. Um, so, you know, I could go in at any time, whereas, like, Facebook, if you have people, even if they're not your friends, they could still message you, and you know what I mean? It just, it bugs out my phone a lot, because if someone is just messaging, 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 it keeps alerting me, you know what I mean? That's why I kind of delete the Facebook app on my iPhone. <laughs> so I think the, <laughs> the best, the best one I like is, um, is, is Twitter, you know, I, I kind of go on Facebook sometimes. You know, just to to talk to you know my my core friends from the beginning, but um, I don't really like Facebook that much. Twitter's Twitter is it. All right, thank you. Um, well, they kind of stole my question, so I have to find a different way to ask it. I'm actually one of your legion of followers on Twitter, um, and I notice you really like Twitter and Instagram a lot. How much um, do you think that um, your your activity? Because I noticed you tweet a lot, and you mm -hmm. have this Instagram pictures as well. How much do you think that contributed to the um, popularity you attained, particularly back at home, um, by the time the Olympics started and would have been progressing? Okay, uh, that's a great question. Um, the Olympics, man, it was it was big. You know what I mean? Because uh, going into the Olympics, I had, I could tell you, I had 700 followers, right? Um, I got a lot when I just signed my BP contract because we were doing the I for TNT hashtag. So I was getting a lot of a lot of followers then. But I only when I got to the games, I had 700, and I think it was like 48. And um. The day that I did my 200 and I made it to the semifinals, it went from 700 to 
four thousand five hundred and something. It was crazy. And um I think the day I got back to Trinidad when we had the opening ceremony, um, I think it was like it was like six thousand something. You know what I mean? So I mean it shows that, you know, a lot of people were into it. And I think after you know, for the past year I think Twitter has definitely, you know, grew. So um yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cool, man. You know, uh, Twitter is kind of cool, and you you could definitely you know get a lot of followers by the things that you tweet and just different ways. I see like you know somebody could just put put a picture, and you know you could get like ten retweets. So it's it's really good for getting out the message. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I next question I have. Well, I noticed um this year. Um, how do you see IT, or what role do you think IT could have in terms of making that even bigger and better as as the year to as you stage that type of festival? Um, how do you think you could use IT to improve on? Um, right now, I think you could use it. You could use it, you know, in a lot of ways. You know what I mean? Um. For promotion, promotion-wise, I mean, I see it now. You know, a lot of, a lot of people now use use the social media for for promoting, you know, parties. You know, I have a lot of a lot of friends in Trinidad, and that's basically the way to go. You know what I mean? Um, if you have a lot of Instagram followers, you know, you just po post a flyer, and it, it it gets around. And um, I think, I think uh, you know, that's 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 the new way of advertising, basically. You know, social media and it's just it's just time until something else comes out, you know what I mean? Because it's just all about technology now, you know what I mean? Something's going to come out that's going to be even better. So um, right now, that's basically where the world is now, you know what I mean? Just <laughs> basically IT. Um, to add to that now, I mean, even our... Um, you know our recovery process now. It's 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 more it's more in that technology base. You know I have a I have this machine called a Normatec, where it basically flushes out your legs. So if you have any lactic acid or anything build up inside of your legs, you put on these boots, and it basically pumps air through five five compartments in your legs, and it pushes out all the lactic acid. So I mean, technology is just basically pushing everything aside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think problem. Yeah. Alright, Josh. Alright, I'm on a problem. Okay, um my question is, right, I um, will see your old master's students here at UV and this sports IT and sports, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're well, students, whatever, but really here yeah, for me athlete, right? Um IT and sports, what would you think athletes would be like today without technology? Like you're just talking about the group that you wear that takes you out of lactic acid, like what will happen if there was none of that technology? Like do you think athletes would be the, would be as good as they are today and stuff like that? <laughs> uh, it's plenty of ways that I can go into that. Um basically no actually I think I think I think with new technology I think it's 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 good because you know it's it's you're able to do your recovery on your own time. I mean, uh, you know, right now if you look at the the big athletes, um, like okay, let's say Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt has a a personal therapist that goes with him 24 hours a day. You know what I mean? So anytime he has any problem with his legs, he's able to basically get it massaged or you know any kind of problem. So he has that treatment with him 24/7. Whereas what I was telling you about is the Normatec is, um, you know, I could use it at any time as well, you know what I mean? But a therapist could get really, really expensive to have them at your side 24-7, whereas you would just spend basically $2,000, which is a great investment, and be able to do the same thing. Um, but I don't think, I don't think uh, athletes would be better or... I don't. I don't think so. Not yet. I mean, I think. I think maybe uh, down the road, 
they will come out with other stuff that's basically going to take you to the next level. But again, it's, it's the money comes into that and just making that investment. I have, I have one more question, right? If you or Jason Kennedy Ken, Ken, Ken was riding up BMX, who do you think would yeah. win? <laughs> <laughs> if you were riding up BMX, um. <laughs> Honestly, I would I, I wouldn't say a BMX. I think if me and Kenny was to ride the same bikes, I definitely think I would beat him. Uh, you the I mean if you if you look at you look at the videos and look at them, um, you know you have to take your hats your hats off to them. I mean their program is incredible. They spend a lot of money in their programs and they they only care about the Olympics. You know what I mean? Um, they don't care about anything else. They don't care about the World Cups. They don't care about World Championships. They don't care about Commonwealth Games. They only care about the Olympic Games. I mean, that's that's a big dance. And um, they invest a lot of money uh, in everything, you know, from the equipment to SRM to the therapists to the psychologists. The list goes on and on and on. And, and they get everything right on the day, and, and they get the job done. All right, man. See? Yeah, he's he's good enough to work up. I'm I'm on ten in uh, Manchester. Um, after Manchester, there's Aguas Calientes. Hey, where's the third World Cup day? Uh, they, it's probably gonna be here or um in Guadalajara, Mexico. Okay. okay. Um, so the World Cups will get into the World Championships, and um, the big picture for this year for just saying will be come on, Yeah. So. All right. Well, Jay, any more questions? No, just good luck next month. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Represent as well. Talk to the time. All right. Nice All right. Talking to you guys. All Good right. chance to. All right. Later. Bye. Thank you.